It's different. It's been good. Um, just being able to be in the NFL and, you know, lifelong dream come true. Um, you know, being, uh, you know, coached by Coach today, it was, it was uh, pretty cool. You mentioned uh, comparisons to Josh Jacobs as far as build and size. Mm -hmm. Do you think your skill sets are similar, or who would you say your, your skill sets kind of? I think everyone has their own skill sets. Um, I feel like I have my own skill sets as well. He has his own skill sets. Um, we're all different, you know, in special ways. So I feel like um, for me, just being able to get in and out of my cuts, um, explosiveness, um, I feel like that, that's what um, is my part. Kind of random, but you wore zero in college. That's kind of a new thing in football. Did you try to get zero here or, or no? I I didn't try. Um, I was told that I could get, you know, after the preseason, I get a, a different number. Um, that was the first thing that was said to me. But I don't really care um, what I get. Um, I just want to play. Hey, Marshawn, what has kind of the last 24 hours been like just getting here and now wearing the Packers gear, being in the mm -hmm. facility? Kind of just walk us through all that. Yeah, it's been amazing. Well, lots, first of all, it's been lots of studying. Um, we've, you know, pushed right into it. It's been pretty cool just learning uh, the playbook and getting able to, you know, execute it today at practice. Um, it's um, it's pretty cool, but today just getting acclimated to everything. I've been at two different places. I've been in South Carolina. I've been at Southern California. So the change is it's easy to me. I, I went, I traveled two hours for high school. So change is, is, is nothing um, new to me, and I feel like uh, it helped me to this position where I'm at right now. What sets you apart from other running backs in this draft and in this league? Um, honestly, um, I feel like just – being able to be used in any way possible. I mean, I could be used, you know, on special teams. I could be used on, uh, uh, you know, third down. I could be used um, anywhere, really. Um, I could be used on kickoff returns. So I feel like that's a, a thing. Just being able to, you know, like I said, have that shiftiness and have that quickness and that explosion, that's something that I feel like that sets me different. I saw your highlight reel in the runs. Obviously, running backs have great runs. But some of the catches I saw, is, yes. that, is that a real point of emphasis for you in, in differentiating yourself? Yes, definitely. Um, catching is everything. Um, the more you can do, the better, especially running back. The more you can do, the market's changing you know, with running backs. Um, it's like a, it's a pass first league, so if the more you can do, you know, catch the ball at the backfield, the more they can move you out to slot, the better it is for, you know, not only the team, but for you as well. Marshall, there's a couple of other Pac-12 guys in the locker room mm -hmm. now. Have you been tackled by any of your now teammates? Nah, nah. I haven't been tackled by them. I've, uh, I have played in the, I've played in the SEC as well. Um, I mean, well, he probably say he tackled me, but I, I don't remember. Um, but other than that, it's been it's been special to be able to you know be around a lot of people that you watch play on the weekend. It's been pretty cool to you know finally be on the same team with them. You played hey, with Caleb you... Williams last year at USC. Obviously, you said that you're going to stay friends with him. Mm -hmm. Or you guys actually go way way back. Yes. How far back? So we played against each other in little league. Uh, we were rivals in high school. We played together in college, and then we're rivals again. So um, <laughs> that's uh, special. So who won more of those head-to-head -head matchups? I did. He he won. He won. There's one thing that have you ever seen hit Caleb's highlight video, and he has like a a championship where he threw the ball like the last four seconds left in the game. That's the only thing he got on me. Other than that, I feel like <laughs> the math is over against Zach 100. percent And you're aware that the, any... the Packer pair rivalry is pretty lopsided. Oh yeah, time. definitely, definitely. Um, I just I'm just it's been like a rivalry forever with me and Caleb, so it's pretty cool to be able to you know continue the uh, tradition on. Has there been any smack talk since you guys both got drafted? Well, um, not really smack talk. I mean, he said he'll see me um, when we play each other, so when he, when he texts me, but we'll we'll see how that play out. Um, have any of the guys in the running back room currently here reached out to you and just kind of what have those conversations been like? Yes, A.J. Dillon. I, he, I've been following, talking, and like following each other, A.J. Dillon, since I was in high school. So and he texted me. Um, I know Jordan Love texted me when I got drafted. So it was just pretty cool hearing from them, you know, watching A.J. Dillon, you know, when he was at Boston College and, you know, being able to, you know, follow him and talk to him here and there. So when I got drafted, he was one of the ones. What excites you about this offense? Everything. I mean, we're, we're a young offense. We're young. And, like, we did so good. We were, like, one of the youngest teams last year that we were able to go as far as they did. And we're only we're a year older. The teams are a year older. we got a couple more young guys coming up. So I think um, – we're gonna. We have a chance to be special for quite some time. I noticed you're saying we. How good does that feel? It feels good. It feels good. Definitely hearing, um, like, being in this position, and it's, it's a blessing.
How much is it excite you just knowing the expectations that this team has going into this next season because of what they accomplished last season? Yes, I um honestly I was not expecting, you know, to be here. I would definitely not. And when I got the call, the first thing I thought of was like Super Bowl. And I'm like, this is this is insane. Just seeing exactly what they did last year and how great the team has been, you know, just from you know the change and everything. Um, I think this team is upwards going up for sure.